June 20th. On this day we celebrate the memory of the Holy Hauramat Methodius, Bishop of Patara. Consecrated to God from childhood, St. Methodius became an instrument chosen by grace and was consecrated as Bishop of Patara, Olympus, in Lycia. Renowned for his vast philosophical culture and his zeal in regard to the truth of the Gospel, he travelled from Milad to Patara to participate in a discussion on the dogma of Christ's resurrection. From there, he visited the principal towns of Lycia and Pamphylia, and even journeyed to more distant parts to defend the true faith against the pagan philosophers. In reply to Plato's praise of Eros and his claim that it was possible to be raised from love of bodies to love of unintelligible realities, St. Methodius composed an admirable apologia on virginity and on the Christian life of virtue called the banquet of the ten virgins. He presented his work in the platonic manner as a dialogue which took place in the garden of Dame Virtue, sister of philosophy, which was planted in the East as in Paradise, and in the course of which each virgin gave in turn an eulogy of virginity. Marcella I praised virginity as a virtue which, exercised on earth, made the chariot of the soul ascend to heaven and led to incorruptibility and the likeness to God through the imitation of Christ, the virgin par excellence. It revealed, she added, the goal of the pedagogy which God used to lead humanity towards perfection, first of all permitting incestuous unions, then polygamy, which was to give way to chastity in a monogamous marriage, and finally virginity. Theophilia then intervened to make it clear that marriage should not therefore be held in disdain, saying, If honey is sweeter than other foods, it does not mean that these other foods are bitter. The church is like a garden containing all sorts of flowers. Some are the flowers of virginity, others of procreation, and others are flowers of chastity. When she had finished her intervention, all the other virgins applauded in order to express their esteem for marriage. Thalea was the first virgin to speak. She said that if the union of a man and a woman is a symbol of the union of Christ and his church, virginity is a spiritual marriage which truly accomplishes this great mystery of the union of the soul with its bridegroom. And she added that if marriage was granted to human beings by concession because of sin, virginity was a gift of God. Theopatra developed this proposition by stating that nothing was more helpful to the restoration of the life of paradise and to reconciliation with God than a chaste life. Thalassia then declared that, in order to be truly worthy of this name, virgins must keep themselves entirely pure by the consecration to God of all the movements of body and soul, and that to bodily chastity must be added that of the mouth, the eyes, the ears, the smell, the touch, and above all, the virginity of the heart which, wholly turned towards the Lord, is no longer concerned for anything worldly and no longer finds itself under the impulse of anger or of vanity. Agatha used the parable of the ten virgins to show that virginity must be preserved with watchfulness from the assaults of corruption. Then the word was given to Prosila, who, returning to the theological aspect of the question, declared that the flesh of Christ is the first bride that the word has assumed, in order to establish it like a queen at the right hand of the Father, and that all virgins therefore become its followers. She praised virginity as superior to martyrdom, for it consists not in facing trial for a brief moment, but in enduring the assaults throughout one's life. Then came the turn of Thecla, a virgin admired by the others for her knowledge of philosophy, both human and divine. She gave the longest speech and particularly praised virginity by means of an etymological deduction, 
suggesting that it came from a god's side and that it gave the soul wings to lead a life like that of the angels in heaven while still on earth. The discussion having been completed by Tissia and Domnina, who both developed allegorical interpretations of the Old Testament, Dame Virtue took up the word to conclude, saying that virginity cannot be simply limited to the idea of a sexual continence, but that it implies a total consecration to God of all one's movements of spirit and the senses. And with this word she awarded the crown to Thecla. The latter began to intone a rousing hymn in honour of virginity, while the other virgins, forming a dancing choir, replied with the refrain, I will keep myself pure for thee, O my bridegroom, and I will come to meet thee holding a lighted torch. Getting back to the life of St. Methodius, during his travels, St. Methodius opposed the Gnostics and other heretics who disdained the body and the sensible creation and showed that nothing evil has been created by God. Yet he was above all the first to detect the errors of origin and to fight against his doctrine of the pre-existence of souls and their fall into bodies as into prison a concept that resulted in the denial of the resurrection of the body. After having laboured mightily for the truth, St. Methodius was beheaded at Chalcis in Syria, probably in about 311, during the persecution which took place under Licinius. Blessed is our God, always known for the good of the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, O God, glory to you. Heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who are everywhere present in filling all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, cleanse us from our sins. O Master, pardon our transgressions. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. As a sharer of the ways and a successor to the throne of the apostles, O oh, inspired of God, the foundest discipline to be a means of ascent to divine vision. Wherefore, having rightly divided the word of truth, thou didst also contest for the faith even unto blood, O Hieromartyr Methodius, intercede with Christ our God, that our souls be saved. By thy hand was the nature of water, which before was fluid, transformed into solid form, O Lord. Wherefore, having passed through a dry shod, Israel chanted to thee as him of victory. O holy Hiram Artemithodius, pray to God for us. Teach me that most narrow path that leads to God, O teacher of sacred mysteries. Show me the method that by thine intercessions I may attain unto life without end. 
O always methodious, holy heart, martyr methodious, pray to God for Thou us. Thou shows the illuminating splendor in the Church of Christ, O revealer of things sacred, beaming with twofold graces, wherefore Christ has sacredly crowned thee with twofold crowns. Holy heart, martyr methodious, pray to God for us. Adorned in the crown of martyrdom and the chrism of the priesthood, O all blessed methodious, Thou shones lightning like in both, for this cause thou hast obtained the true and godlike inheritance. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou hast sacrificed to the Master as an unblemished, sacred, living, soul endowed sacrifice, O glorious Methodius. Wherefore thou wast accepted on the altar in the heaven, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. For our sakes thou hast given birth to Christ, the Deliverer, the Redeemer, and Saviour of our mortal race, O Immaculate Virgin Mother. Truly knowing thee, therefore, to be the provider of life everlasting, we glorify thee. O Lord Saviour, who in the beginning made us steadfast the heavens by thine all-powerful word, and all the power thereof by thine all-affecting and divine spirit, make me steadfast on the unshakable rock of thy confession. O holy Haramat and Methodius, pray to God for us. When thou sowest the delusion of origin prevailing, O inspired of God, thou as an excellent shepherd, didst kindle the love and splendour of thy wisdom, and did straightway burn away all his gloomy mist with the divine fire. Holy Haramat and Methodius, pray to God for Having us. Having learned by experience the holiness of virginity and the beauty of purity, O glorious and godly-minded Methodius, thou dost demonstrate their beauty and everlasting brightness unto all men with the wisdom and grace of thy word. Holy Haramat and Methodius, pray to God for us. The lightning of thy word the trumpet of thy knowledge, the auspicious sound of thy doctrines, has gone forth into all the earth, calling all the faithful to participation in the joys of heaven. O righteous and all-blessed Father, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, those who are filled with the solid food of thy spiritual symposiums, O most wise Methodius, are nourished thus with the true nourishment, which endures forever, is an unchangingly united to, and increases in them that partake thereof. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. With the divine Gabriel, O blessed Virgin, we ever cry to thee, rejoice. For thou became the cause of joy and true gladness for us, when thou didst boldly conceive the Redeemer and the Saviour of all. Making thy heart a fair and God-pleasing altar, O sacred minister, thereon thou didst offer unbloody sacrifices to thy Lord and God. And thou being sacrificed in great contest wast offered as a sacrifice to him that was sacrificed for us. With fervor ever pray to him to save all us who hear thee with love, O Methodius. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. To God's birth giver let us run now most earnestly, we sinners all and wretched ones and fall prostrate in repentance calling from the depths of our souls. Lady, come unto our aid, have compassion upon us. Hasten thou, for we are lost in a throng of transgressions. Turn not thy servants away with empty hands, for thee alone do we have as our only hope. O Christ God, who without leaving the bosom of the Father didst descend to the earth, I have heard the mystery of thy dispensation and have glorified thee who alone lovest mankind. 
O holy heart, Martyr Methodius, pray to God for us. Thou didst ascend to the highest pinnacle of virtue, and thou hast perfected as a martyr, O all blessed Methodius, receiving a magnificent recompense for thy sacred ministry. Holy heart, Martyr Methodius, pray to God for Since us. Since thou led the most sacred life, thou hast granted the episcopal throne, O all venerable one, and preaching the Orthodox faith, thou taught thy flaws. Holy Hiram Archer Methodius, pray to God for us. The soul profiting sweetness of thy doctrines does issue forth like a fountain, gladdening them that partake and sweetening the senses of our souls. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As a limpid mirror of God, O Methodius, thou didst receive without distortion the divine manifestations, for with most strenuous diligence, Thou hast made thyself to shine. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Christ God, who without leaving the Father's bosom was incarnate of the Virgin, preserve thy flock which does reverence the divine symbols of thy dispensation. Rising up at dawn unto thee out of the night, I beseech thee, O Lord my God, Grant me remission of my transgressions, and guide my steps to the light of thy precepts, I pray. O holy Haramata Methodius, pray to God for us. Thou didst clothe thyself with a life-giving mortification before thine end, O Father, and beheaded with the sword of thy martyrdom, thou wast translated to the infinitely better life, O glorious Methodius. Holy Haramata Methodius, pray to God for oh, us. O holy celebrated hierarch, initiate of ineffable mysteries, and partake with the choir on high, Save them that honour thee with longing, destroying by thine entreaties the besetment of fearful trials. Holy Haramata Methodius, pray to God for Since us. Since thou hast boldness with the Master, whose passion thou didst eagerly emulate in thy contest, O all-wise Father, Ask that divine peace and serenity be granted to the faithful. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Formally sacrificing the Lamb of God, which takes away the sins of the world, thou was afterwards sacrificed as a rational and living sacrifice, and was offered unto him, O Methodius. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Since thou art the vessel of the incomprehensible light in the temple of the divine splendor, O Immaculate Theotokos, I pray thee, illuminate my darkened soul with thy light. Sickened by the spouse of the cares of life, sinking with my fellow seafarers the sins, and thrown overboard to the soul-corrupting monster, like Jonas, O Christ, I cry to thee, lead me up out of the deadly deep. O holy Hiramata Methodius, pray to God for us. Thou gaze now the slumber to thine eyelids, no sleep to thine eyes, O all blessed one, till thou hast freed thyself of all the passions and made thyself a temple, fit to contain the effulgent lightning of the Spirit. Holy Hiramata Methodius, pray to God for Complete us. Completely united to the divine and godlike brightness, O godly minded Methodius, Thou became the ruler for the God-inspired priesthood and a mediator with God for the whole Church of the faithful. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thy enlightening comprehension of things that be, O Speaker, inspired of God, together with thy most illustrious manner of life, showed thee to the world as a lamp of light banishing heretical prattle, and the murky mist of godlessness. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. We know thee to be the queen of all things that are come into being, since thou gavest birth to God, who created all things out of nothing. O Mother of God, with the angel Gabriel we cry the joyous hymn to thee. Thou wast a priest of the mysteries of the Holy Trinity, a proclaimer of the commandments of God, which pass all understanding, and the confirmation of the Orthodox O Methodius. Thou didst denounce the thoughts of the heretics for the sake of orthodoxy, 
shown by thy blood to be a hieromartyr, standing before Christ with the angels, entreat him that we all be saved. Cast into the fiery furnace the venerable children, transformed the fire into dew, crying out thus in hymnody, Blessed art thou, O Lord God of our fathers, O holy Hiram Methodius, pray to God for us. Being consecrated and shining radiantly with the blood of them that bear witness to the truth, O godly-minded Methodius, thou ceaselessly sings of the martyrs unto the Master. Blessed art thou, Lord, the God of our Father. Holy Hiram Methodius, pray to God for May us. May steadfast in the faith thou didst quench the idols flame in the streams of thy holy blood by means of martyrdom, while shouting, Blessed art thou, O Lord, the God of our Father. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Initiated into the things of God by the loftiest divine vision, thou didst most wisely render thy mind keen, while crying out to the faithful that sing, Blessed art thou, O Lord, the God of our Father. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. All the creation glorifies thy child with hymns, O Virgin, acknowledging and solemnly worshipping him as God, as it does shout, Blessed art thou, O Lord, the God of our fathers. The only beginningless King of glory, whom the hosts of angels bless, and before whom the ranks of heaven tremble, him ye priests and exalt him supremely, O ye people. O holy Hiram Methodius, pray to God for us. A seeing thee that art invisible, the godly minded Methodius endured the tardum torments and put on a crown while singing. Praise him, O you priests, and supremely exalt him, O you people, unto the ages. Holy Hiram Methodius, pray to God for Sincerely us. Sincerely yearning for the everlasting kingdom of Christ, O hierarch, thou walks the path that leads thee thither, while crying to Christ, supremely exalt him, O you people, unto the ages. Holy Hiram Methodius, pray to God for us. Thy labors, Christ, has granted thee a reward Word infinitely greater and passing all understanding, O God bearer, as with him dost thou piously praise his kingdom unto all the ages. We bless Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Lord. A sea of doctrines, a tablet of teachings, a lofty treasury of divine vision, and a throne of perception, do we acknowledge thee to be, as we piously sing the hymn. Supremely exalt Christ, O you people, unto the ages. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. With faith I come to thee as a supplicant, O all pure one, who has conceived the Master of all. Do thou now save me from persecutions and perils, as I piously him God, who was inexplicably incarnate of thee. Thou art Mother of God and Virgin, thou givest birth, and yet remain virgin still. This is not the work of nature, but of God's condescension. Wherefore, since thou alone was counted worthy of such divine wonders, we ever magnify thee. O holy Hiram Methodius, pray to God for us. Continually entreat Christ to quell the devices of the heresies against us, and to remove the present gloom from our midst, O divinely blessed Father. For as a hierarch thou art a mighty intercessor. Holy Hiram Methodius, pray to God for us. Thou hast been translated from earth to the heavenly life, receiving the history word for thy ministry and thy contest, and partaking there of the life that is without defilement. Thou hast been accounted worthy to dwell with Christ throughout eternity. Holy Hiram Methodius, pray to God for us. Thou hast reaped the fruit of the tree of immortal life, O all blessed Methodius, having obtained the very author of man's life. As thou takes great delight in his joy, beseech him for them that praise thee with faith. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Earnestly raising thy whole mind on high through the excellence of thy way of life, 
Thou hast deemed worthy of the vision of Christ and the delight of exceeding joy as a harmater and as a teacher and defender of true religion. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. We call thee the ark of the new law and the God-graven tablet whereon the word of God was inscribed, becoming immortal to save the world from error. O all him thou talkest full of grace. Thy blood mystically cries out to God from the earth like that of Abel. O divinely wise and holy Hierarch Methodius, who manifestly preached that God became man. Wherefore thou hast put the deception of origin to shame, and hast passed over to the heavenly bridal chamber. Entreat Christ God that he save our souls. Wisdom, most holy mother of God, save us. More honourable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, thee who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Glory to you, Christ God, O hope, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Holy Father, bless. May Christ, O true God, the prayers of his holy and all-pure Mother, whose holy, wonder-working icon, called Directress, we celebrate this day. With the prayers of St. John the Baptist, of the holy and all-praised apostles, with the power and under the protection of the holy, life-giving cross, and all the holy, bodiless powers of heaven. At the prayers of our fathers among the saints Ninian and Cuthbert, the bishops of God, Sisoes the Great, Brandon the Navigator, Oran of Iona, Columba of Iona, Kenneth, Ron and Molwag, all the saints of all these islands, protectors of our monastery and our community. With the prayers of the Holy Harumat and Methodius of Patara, the Bishop of Olympus, with the prayers of the Holy Apostles Luke, Andrew, and Thomas, the Holy Prophet Eliseus, the Holy Martyr Lazarus, fellow martyr of Saints Jonas, Barachius of Persia, whose holy sacred relics and garments have been placed in the Church of the Holy and Great Apostles on this day. With the prayers of the Holy Two Ascetics, who repose in peace in the wilderness. With the prayers of our righteous Father Callistus, Archbishop of Constantinople. With the prayers of St. Lucius of Alexandria, the first Bishop of Brindisi in Italy. With the prayers of our righteous mother Florentina of Seville, sister of St. Leander and Isidore. With the prayers of St. Nahum of Ochrid, enlightener of the Slavs. With the prayers of the Holy Prince Gleb Andreevich of Vladimir. With the prayers of St. Guria, Archbishop of Kazan, whose holy relics have been translated today. With the prayers of the Holy New Harumat Raphael of Lesbos, whose holy relics have been found on this day. With the prayers of St. Philan of Munster, with the prayers of St. Edburga, with the prayers of St. Coburn, St. Govan of Wales, St. Edward of England, St. Oswald of Northumbria, and all those with them whose memory we keep this day. And the prayers of the holy ancestors of God, Joachim and Dana, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us. For he is good and he loves mankind. Amen. And the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen.